guys, my name is Daniel, the small cat guy. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Think or Swim platform. So if you have logged in to your Think or Swim platform, right, you go to this page. So if you are not in this page, you can simply go to Monitor, Activity and Position. So I'm going to go through one by one uh, what they all mean. So the first one is Working Order. So this one, right, is uh, you have submitted your uh, your order then it has yet been filled so for example right this run this one I want to buy 100 shares of MU stock so I have already uh, submitted my order but until now still nobody wants to sell me that 100 stocks so this one is a pending order here the next one is filled orders so this one right if if this position is filled, then it will come to here. It means that when there are people selling me 100 uh, shares, so I will get that 100 shares and I will I, I, I will be deducted by $4,815. Uh, and then it will be shown under field orders. So for this one, right, the field orders, it will only show the trades that is placed on that day. So if during the next day, these few orders will be empty again. Yeah. The next one is cancelled order. So this one is uh, when your order is in the working orders, then it hasn't been filled, right? Then you cancel it, it will come to cancel order. So for example, now I, I want to buy 100 shares, but I uh, now I, I, I don't want to place this trade already. So I can simply right click and then cancel order so after I cancel order this will come to cancel orders yeah so it's, uh, it's, it's simple like that then the rolling strategies are is not useful right now so we will skip that then the next one is position statement so position statements right here everything everything here is all your holdings at the current moment so right now I have a few positions in my account for example Baba, BIB, Disney, Facebook so if you click this thing expand it will expand all the things for you so for example the first one Baba so Alibaba right the quantity means the number of shares so I have got 100 shares of Alibaba stocks the trade price is the is the price, price that I have bought the Alibaba at so I bought it at $192.50 now this one mark is current market price so it is 174 PNL percent means until now what is my percentage uh, profit or loss so now it is down 9.45 percent then PL open is the <coughs> PL open is the current paper gain or loss for this particular stock so for, for this stock I am now down I, I, I now have a 1.8k loss so we look at another example so the second one BIB Biogen so currently I have 100 shares of BIB but at the same time I have a call option I have a call option of this BIB so plus one means I buy I buy a call option. So this one how to read this? Hundred means hundred shares. Nineteen June twenty means uh, it is it is expiring on nineteen of June twenty twenty. Two two zero means the strike price. The strike price of this call option is two two zero. So this is this days right is the days to expiry. Trade price, how much I paid. So so this one this one is a premium. This particular thing is a premium that I paid to initiate this position. So current market price is seventy nine dollars. So okay same thing. So, uh, actually you don't need to think so much about why I go and buy a call option. Uh, this is another strategy that uh, you'll be taught another time but just bear in mind like how it looks like so 
quantity plus one means buy if negative means sell okay so for so now i want to talk about this particular thing so fxi is the china etf so you see that for china etf this one quantity is zero it means i don't have any shares of this uh, china etf but the thing is i have one call option i have plus i i've bought one call option of this fxi yeah so this is what basically it means lah so so it can it can be zero here don't worry so much yeah okay so i want to go to the next uh next one which is account statement so for account statement you can see that there are a lot of things so i will go one by one so the first one is cash and sweep vehicle so this one shows how much how much cash you have in your uh thing also account so now you have you you should only see like one line here so how do you expand it you press this you can for example you type like 300 days back from today so if you type that you will see all the transaction uh, since 300 days ago so it is like everything here so you can see right it is so repetitive and all you see is just like cash balance at the start of business day what cash balance at, at the start of business day whatever so you can you, you cannot really like see your real trades so what you're going to do right you just go to this transaction you just a uh, untick this start of day balance so after you untick that so it will only show all the real trades that you have placed so it will not show the you know, the daily balance of your cash whatever so now you can very clearly tell that so for example this one is uh in january 19 january 19 this year i bought i bought a hundred shares of disney due to assignment so i sold a put on this uh disney then the stock price is lower than the strike price so i I will be exercised so I am obliged to buy the shares so I, I will go to detail later on in, in another video so don't worry so commissions and fees so for this trade itself uh, I I have incurred a $15 fee so the amount is the amount the, the amount of cash that has been deducted from an account then the balance is this one yep so yeah so that's about the cash and sweep waker so forex cash don't bother uh order history trade history uh don't bother as well so equities uh equities and options right so these two are actually the same as this one so you can refer one of them yeah then uh okay so so this one account summary the last one account summary so this account summary here is is the is the same as here so you can just look at here so i i, I will just explain using this uh this segment here so the most important two things are the net liquid and also the cash and sweep net liquid means if today today i close all the positions here everything i close what is my net worth what is my cash in hand so 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 yeah what is my cash after i have sold everything here would be shown here so it means let net liquid value means uh, net worth the next one is cash and sweep waker so this one is how much cash you have on hand right now right now so you can see in this example right in my account right my net liquid value is 108k but my cash is only 6.3k so you need to be be very very careful on this cash cash and sweep vehicle especially if you are selling put so you need to really calculate like uh, what is your real capital left in order to do other stuff 
okay so we have done we have done for the monitor tab now we will go to the trade so for trade right initially it will look like that it is like empty so you go to all products then you type for any stock for example FB Facebook K so this one the first thing is underlying underlying means the underlying asset so in this case underlying is the underlying stock of Facebook so what is last price last price is last transacted price so it is last transacted at 187.89 net change is the uh, is how much the price has moved in the past one day in that particular day so for example for the past one day it has moved 1.51 dollars bid is the uh, sell price uh, so if you want to sell you press on bid ask is if you want to buy you press on ask so these others are not so important okay so this trade grid is not useful so don't bother we will look at this thing called the option chain so when I when we press the option chain you will see a lot of dates here so each date means uh, the expiry date of the option so you can see that they are purple and they are black so the black one are the standard uh, option expiry date which happens on third Friday on the month so the purple one are what we call the weekly uh, weekly week, 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 week uh, expiration options so usually right uh, popular stocks have weekly options but for those are uh, not so popular ones they don't have uh, weekly they only have monthly and some even popular stocks they don't even have options at all okay so when we press on any dates for example this one we will see the strike price and then on the left on the left this is called the call option on the right it is called the put option so you can see now only have four strike price how do you increase the number of strike prices you can put more okay so now we have more strike prices so so uh, this is all about the option chain I will talk about like how to execute uh, later on yeah okay so uh, that's all you need to know and this whatever I've talked just now is uh, the must know thing so I'm going to talk about the not so important thing but good to know so you can see on the left right there are a lot of stuff so so this one we have talked about it already so the next one is live news on whatever stock so for example if you want to know the live news of Facebook you just type Facebook here then you can see that you no know, uh, for example this this one this one is this one happens on 26 26 October like Mark Zambola says like Facebook is not accepting the responsibility or whatever so you can see past news for this stock particular stock so, so you can change to another stock yeah so all the news are here so this is the first tab the second tab right is the watch list so you can build your own watch list here so you press select watch list uh, create watch list uh, this one just put my watch list so from here right, you can just uh, straight away type your symbol here for example FB you enter the description the name will show up like the last price the net change so you can put Baba you can put Disney whatever then you may press save it will be safe here so it is easier for you to 
look for the stock prices you don't need to go one by one to key in all this so this one is the watch list so uh, you can build your own watch list but there is also a public watch list like all ETFs for example but these are not so useful I personally don't use them also so I only use my personal watch list so okay so actually there are more functions it's like a lot more functions here so let us explore so you can press on the plus the add gadget right the there are, there are so many things here for example calculator you can you know 88 plus 12 you can straight away do your calculation here there are also uh, let me check which one is the important stuff uh, scratch pad you can draw you you, you, you can write on uh, your notes here fb by at uh, one eight five for example yeah so this one is scratch pad uh, so there are also games uh, to be to be honest there are games you know yeah so might sweeper to kill your time so you don't kill yourself in the trade itself yeah Tetris Tetris, how, how to play? I, I also don't know how to play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so now it seems that I have a I have a lot of things here. So how do I delete them? Right. Just go to this customize gadget. You just uh, press the cross la. Cross. No cross. Cross. So now only left with four. So this one not really important. Okay, calculator. Yeah. So these are, these are not the essential thing, but it's good to know, and it is good to know. Uh, it is it, good to have lah. Yeah, but it is not a must have stuff. Yeah. So uh, the navigation uh, I think is uh, is okay for you to know this thing and can start to trade already. Yeah. So I will end my session here. See you around.